in progress. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Cooking for Cancer. This afternoon, we are going to make a hummus avocado and roasted eggplant wrap. I am Angela Zaganini, your registered dietitian, um, lifestyle nutritionist. This is Danielle Katrina, our project manager and assistant here at the Teaching Kitchen. Hi. <laughs> Sorry, I like joined the Zoom on my phone, and so I'm just making sure that you can not hear. So it's really great to have you guys here. Really quick, a little bit. Um, we have expanded our space recently, so we're located on the third floor of Hillman Cancer Center. So this kitchen is actually located where you get treatment or see your oncologist. And we're really excited about that. It's pretty much one of a kind throughout the country to have something like this. If you're joining us for the first time, you've never heard about our program, really quickly, Dr. Lady Francis is an oncologist, hematologist, um, who sees patients that are looking for a little bit more of symptom management with a holistic approach. So acupuncture, oncology, massage, yoga, meditation, lifestyle, nutrition. Um, we do all of that here and also just, you know, some su support decision making if you're looking for that. We're here for you guys as well. So you can always make a consult. You don't need to be referred to our program. You can just call and get a consult. So that's enough about that. <laughs> and just going to kick us off with the this really cool wrap. It's yummy. It's delicious. We're yes. really excited. So go ahead. All right, cool. So until we get a second camera, I'm going to be walking back and forth showing you what we're um, actually preparing. So roasted eggplant. You're going to want to start to preheat your oven around 375. The way you cut your eggplant um, is really up to you. What I did was slice the eggplant and then cut it in fours so that they're these little like triangle shaped pieces, as you can see. And depending on the um, width of your eggplant is going to determine the cooking time more or less. So if you want them thinner, it's going to take less time. And to actually get them to the consistency and the cook, like uh, the brown, nice, it's not, when you cook eggplant, it's not crispy. No. It almost gets even more soft. And you're not a fan, are you? I'm not a fan. I'm just, I don't, I don't know. It's just yeah. not my jam. Yeah. And it's very, eggplant is kind of bland. Yeah. Yeah. Like, unless you're, you know, adding different vegetables, flavor to it, it's rather bland. But I did, we we tested this wrap out and I did eat it. It's like very it. good. Yeah. It's really, it's, well, you did love it. Um, I also, like, it was my second lunch of the day, like, let me be honest. And I was just like, Danielle, literally put it down. You don't need this. It was more that okay. than, like, okay. the taste of it. All so, right. yes, we're all getting through our COVID, stop eating and drinking. Right? Yes. So, and I'm Italian, so it's like, eggplant should be eggplant parmesan. I, I mean, you I didn't want to say it, but I was like, we need some breading, we need right. some parmesan cheese, you're going to deep fry that, all the sauce, like, yeah. you know, the whole thing, the layer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so, this is... Um, a relatively healthy recipe. It is also plant-based and we're using um, roasted red pepper hummus. Again, you can use any type of hummus that you want. Um, while we're talking, I'm going to throw this in the oven so we get it cooking. Um, so when you're cooking this at home, it'll take about 10 to 15 minutes um, to get it to that nice brown consistency. We have a quicker oven. It rotates 360 degrees. Uh, I don't know what I like didn't know the degrees for a second. No, I don't. Well, because then we always talk about this oven goes up to 600 degrees. Yeah, I so like, I like, I have that same moment. I'm like, wait, is it degrees? <laughs> Am I pressing degrees too many times? But so it's very, we've had a lot of fun with this oven just to watch how fast things cook. Like yes. this is a dream piece if you ever hit the lottery. Right? Oh my gosh. Um, it's awesome. I mean, it's also if you ever hit the lottery, I hope you're not cooking. Um, but I probably had a shot. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 But this is, um, so this, it's really cool. It, it cooks things very evenly yes. um, with the rotation. So everybody thinks it's like a pizza oven because it's circular. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes, you can do the pizza. You can definitely use it for that as well. well. And yes. I'm just going to show us how to cut um, oh. appropriately. Yep. So when you get an avocado, um, I was a little intimidated by avocados Yeah. at first. Um, and I literally had to watch a YouTube video. So, right, you know what I was thinking? Like, if they're not like super ripe, you're probably like, oh my gosh, like you have to make sure it's ripe. So by ripe, you want to explain what that even means? Yeah. So when you purchase an avocado and you, depending on when you're going to eat it, yeah, that yeah. matters because there's like a day. <laughs> no, it's for day day when it's like perfect. Yeah. Truly. So when you go and get an avocado, you want it to be a darker color. Um, 
but it does have a tint of green in it too. Sure. But when you touch it, it's going to have a softer feel. So like your thumb is going to go, you know, like kind of go through it a little bit, okay. but not to the point where you're like, Oof. yeah, well, you're right. Yeah, you know it's just mean? soft. Yeah, soft. <laughs> Thank you for that <laughs> descriptive word. <laughs> Okay, um, so, but if it's too hard, it's not gonna be yeah. pleasant. And it's really hard to cut. So like, if you're going grocery shopping that is. day, yeah. like, and you need it for that day to really feel that avocado, yeah. cause I, I and learned that, I'm soft. like, and then you're like, and, and it's, it's hard to eat. Yeah, like, it's, it's not good. It's it's good. Okay. I was gonna say, the taste no. is not right, the texture is not right. So you do want it to be soft. And, <laughs> and, um, if you aren't eating that day, you actually do want to purchase it pretty hard. Right. Um, and then you could sit it on the counter for literally a day or two. Right. And then it's ready to go. Now, another thing about avocado is when you do cook with it and you want to save it for leftovers. Yeah. It gets that brown color, right? Yeah. As soon as it hits cold air, it's like, it's like a banana. So how do you save it? Lemon juice. In a refrigerator? Mm -hmm. So you take it out. Like if I'm only using half of it, do you... Keep it in the peel. You could. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now those avocado. Wait, wait, real lemon juice or fake lemon juice? Doesn't matter. Okay. You could use the container, but if you just literally drip a little bit of lemon juice on the avocado, you could throw it right in the fridge, and it's it'll yeah. be better. So you drip. Like I'm not sitting it in like no. business. No. Okay. Yeah. You would bad. just spritz a little bit of lemon juice on. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So that citrus is going to counteract that like process where the air is hitting it and then brown. So that's a really good point, and just yeah. because we talk a lot about good fats, and like, wow, an avocado is a good fat. If you are eating this, like, this, an avocado is really meant for two people. Yes. Like one half per person. Great so, point. like, if you're cooking for yourself, you're going to want to save that avocado and, you know, use it the next day Absolutely. and not just, you know. Yeah. Okay. Because let me tell you, the calorie content of an avocado, do you want to guess? I mean, it's going to make me sad, and I hate calorie counts. Like, I could go on and on about calorie counts. Like, you know, I'm into Dairy Queen. I don't want to know the calorie count. <laughs> yeah, right I know that's the point. I know. know. So it's like, I can't even get away with that. I know. Like, they're, they're like, let me get one out. Anyway, what's the calorie count? Oh, like a whole avocado. A whole avocado is over 400 calories. Whoa, that's a mill. Yeah. So that's why a quarter of an avocado goes a long way. Right. But you're right. It's a healthy fat. So... The fat in it is what's bringing that calorie content up. Yeah. However, it's a healthy fat. So you're not getting the saturated fat from like a hamburger or right. something. You know what I mean? You're, I was like, you're not also, also getting a hamburger. So yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but okay, let's get to cutting. Okay. Um, so what you do, you start at the like see either the um, stem of it. And you're going to put your knife all the way down and you're going to feel the pit. As soon as you bring that knife down, you're going to feel the pit. And then you're just going to rotate your knife around the pit. So you get to the other side. And she's doing like a little turny thing yep. with the avocado as well. Ooh, so it'll still be connected, but then you twist from the pit. Oh, boom. And you have two perfect half avocados. So what you can do to get that pit out is you can either spoon it out. The thing is, because avocado is a healthy fat, it's real slimy. Yeah. Like you're like yeah. spinning it around. I've done that before. Um, so you could, if you have a really good knife, sharp knife, you would just kind of put it right in that pit, twist. I don't think you did it hard enough. Oh, you did? <gasps> that was so good. <laughs> We've been practicing a lot. So like, that's why we're cheering like a bunch of fifth graders. And it's Friday, and I'm like, let's go. Let's, let's go. go. We're, we're ready um, for the weekend. All right, so pit is out. And what you do to cut this, and especially, we grab that out for me. No, so I almost like reached in and just grabbed <laughs> oh it. Oh my gosh, that would be bad. Um, so to cut this in a portions or, you know, size that you want, I'm going to start again from the top and just do a line straight down. I'm going to come over there and show you. So you're going to start here and work your way down and be careful not to push through. So it's going to be a little bit softer because you don't want to go through the um, skin because obviously your hands there, you don't want to cut yourself. Um, so if you do want it in slices, that's one way. And then you kind of just, well, what we're going to do is dice it up. So 
Now we went vertical. We're going to go horizontal now. And just go right past those lines that we made before. And to get this out, you're literally going to squeeze this. Yeah, I would scoop it out with a spoon. Just for all you people out there that want to get every last drop, <laughs> like me. <laughs> yep. And you know, my mom, she, I, I probably said this on a million of these calls or these um, classes, but my mom's like, why when you cook, it's like you're making a Thanksgiving feast. <laughs> I use every utensil, every plate. So that's why I'm trying to be not use an extra spoon. No, no. Norma. Norma would be pumped. Norma would be pumped. She'd be like, look at my girl. Yeah. Um, can we talk really quick where we got everything from? Yes. Okay. So we um, are just trying to shop well for you. Um, so this is all from Trader Joe's. We've actually been a pretty big fan of Trader Joe's. We were doing Whole Foods for a little while. To be honest, it's crazy. Um, it has its good and um, it has its perks for sure. Especially if you're into like the pre-made stuff, but we've been going to Trader Joe's. This is so easy. This was like, and, and again, this isn't like a single portion. This is to buy for how many people? I would say this costs about 10 bucks total. That's awesome. So, and you know, this is more than just one meal. Um, you can find a lot of things uh, at Trader Joe's. Sometimes you can't, you won't find some of the staple products. Um, and just a reminder, it is a sister, cousin, brother to Aldi. So kind of that same feel um you'll have there but we're just like loving finding out where um you can find good things and and cheap right yep. <laughs> i don't know if you noticed but costs is going up on this stuff yeah so. and, and keep in mind if you're in an area where there is no trader joe's or there is no whole foods or mm -hmm. you know one of those stores giant eagle has every single one of these ingredients. yes shop that we're using today yep. Shop and save has every single one of those ingredients yeah yep. so this isn't anything that's like Specialty. Let me say. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. So to assemble the wrap, we did use whole grain. Is that whole grain or whole wheat wrap? These are whole wheat. Okay. So when you're when you're purchasing wheat, anything, whole grain, whole wheat, you want the first ingredient to say whole. And typically on the packaging, it'll say 100% whole wheat or whole grain. So you need to keep in mind that if it says enriched, refined, white, it is not a whole grain product. So that fiber content is actually not as um, significant as it would be from a 100% whole grain product. So if you were interested, you could throw this on a skillet to warm it up. You could microwave it if you wanted to, you know, warm it up, but we're just gonna keep it as is. We're gonna use a, uh, about one tablespoon of our roasted red pepper hummus. Now keep in mind, if you don't, like roasted red pepper, you can use an original hummus, you can use a garlic flavor, they have a jalapeno one, um, whatever you like. So one tablespoon, and you kind of just, I'm gonna bring it over there again for you, spread it on that, okay? So you're just gonna put it right in the middle, one tablespoon, um, and then we're going to add our eggplant. Now, Eggplant, this recipe actually says to um, cut the eggplant and then put it in water, actually soak it in water for a little bit, and then drain it and blot it dry so that the cooking process is less and it gets to that consistency that you want it. Um, it also mentioned to peel the eggplant. We don't want to peel the eggplant. The benefits of um, the eggplant are actually in the skin. Oh! Yeah, so... And your skin's yeah. hard grain. So, <laughs> thank you. This is why I keep her around. <laughs> that's it. Like, tell me more. Yeah. So, to eat the skin, like right now. It's, I know, right? So interesting. So, there's an ingredient in the skin called anthocyanin. Okay. Which is an antioxidant, a phytochemical, and what gives it that purple color. Okay. So, that's why, as dietitians, we say eat the rainbow because every fruit and vegetable with a different color has different phytochemicals. Okay. So you want the benefit from the skin, from that. And I'm like, I wonder what's in the avocado skin. Can I eat that? No. <laughs> like, um, no. <laughs> but you know what I mean? Like, I think people tend to um, remove the skin, even from like a potato. Like a potato, the benefit is in the skin. Okay. So keep that in mind. Don't, the recipe says to peel the skin, keep it on. Um, I'm going to grab a, you want to grab tongs for me so I can grab the eggplant? Excuse me, please. <laughs> 
Um, keep in mind too, if you don't like the triangle size pieces, you can slice them, dice them, however you want um, the size and consistency of the eggplant to be. Thank you very much. Okay, so we roasted the eggplant. I'm just going to layer the eggplant right on that piece. And again, eggplant is very low in calories. So you can, you know, top this thing off with as much or as little eggplant as you wish. A second hand. I mean, I'm not eating this. I'm just saying eggplant. Yeah. Um, and I think too, like what we could have done fresh herbs on here. We could have done a different sauce, maybe a different hummus you would have liked better. You know, it doesn't matter. And keep in mind too, avocado is pretty good. Yeah. So you have avocado that's not so flavorful. You have eggplant that's not so flavorful, but what gives it flavor? Salt. I was like, what about <laughs> salt and pepper that thing? That's you know? exactly right. Salt. Yep. Um, so salt, 100% is going to give you flavor, but keep in mind, if you're trying to watch your um, sodium intake, you don't really need it. You could use fresh herbs and other spices to top that off. Um, and let's talk a little bit, because this has no uh, meat. No, so let's, you know, I know we're, we're just trying to get protein in different ways, mm -hmm. and I mean, I'm definitely that person that, like, I don't feel like life is complete without, a, you know, meat and a carb. Yep. So, walk us through. Okay. So we did mention this was a plant-based recipe. However, hummus is chickpeas, so it is a plant-based protein. So because you're not getting meat, you're still getting protein. You're getting fiber, you're getting healthy fats, you're getting whole grains. So this is actually a very well-balanced meal. Okay. And um, to get a little bit more protein even, um, you can add an extra scoop of the hummus. So it's two tablespoons instead of one. Um, the amount of protein um, for two tablespoons is only two grams. Um, <laughs> yes, the label is wrong. Um, but you could add actual chickpeas to it. And if you didn't want to make it plant-based and you're looking for additional protein, you can add chicken breast. Yeah. You can add beans. You can add... Um, even if you wanted to do like tofu, if you're still trying to stick to that plant-based protein source, um, that is definitely something you could do. So I'm gonna bring this over and show you what it looks like as a finished product. So you have, pretty. Yeah, avocado, eggplant, hummus on a whole grain wrap. And keep in mind that the whole grain is also protein. So you're increasing your protein and avocados do have a little bit of protein, but not that much. Um, so very, healthy, nutrient-dense option that also has a very soft mouthfeel. So if you're struggling with mouth sores from treatment, if you're struggling with um, sore throat or difficulty swallowing for whatever type of treatment you're getting, this is actually a really good choice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yep. So thank you so much for joining us. We are so glad that you're here with us today. Um, just a reminder, you can find this recording on our YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. We have one called the Wellness and Integrative Oncology Program, or you can find it on UPMC's um, main YouTube channel. Also, starting September 8th, we will be bringing you two cooking classes a week. It'll be the same recipe each week, so we will be doing a Wednesday at 9 a.m. and a Friday. This class will move to noontime at that. Also, on Fridays at 8.30, we are going to be doing a virtual movement class with our uh, yoga and mindfulness provider, Sadie. She's lovely, wonderful. You don't have to be a yogi. I'm not a yogi. <laughs> and she is awesome. So it's going to be about 20, 25 minutes. Same meeting ID, same yep. passcode. You can find it all there. Have a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining us. We're going to stop the recording. And if our participants have any questions, this is a great time to ask them.